we are looking at Cartesian planes and how we can use Cartesian planes to help us with location and transformation. But you might be wondering, what is a Cartesian plane? Well, a Cartesian plane is a mathematical diagram that we use to plot coordinates. Now, coordinates are the numbers or letters we use to label our Cartesian plane. So on my whiteboard, I have carefully ruled up a nice green grid here. Now, you're lucky you don't need to rule up any grids because your maths book is filled with grid paper. In a moment, I'm going to show how you draw up our Cartesian plane on my grid. So I've drawn up my Cartesian plane on my grid paper, but there is a few more things that I need to do. I can't just leave it looking like a big plus sign. I need to label the quadrants. Now, you've probably heard of the word quadrants before last week when we did our question quadrant for reading. So, have a go at labelling your quadrants on your Cartesian plane. Check that you've labelled your quadrants correctly as they actually rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. Here we have quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 and I've also labelled my X axes and my Y axes. Now, when we label our X axes and our Y axes, we can't just label them all with numbers, you know, 1 to 10, 1 to 10, 1 to 10, because then if I needed to locate an object and I had all of the same numbers on my axes, it wouldn't really make sense. So this is where positive and negative numbers come into play. So have a look at the next diagram at how to label your X and Y axes on your Cartesian plane. my Cartesian plane. Now you can see that I have carefully labelled my numbers corresponding with the grid squares using positive and negative numbers. So on my x-axis when I'm headed in this direction I have labelled it with positive numbers and when I'm heading back in this direction I'm labelling it with negative numbers. Similarly on my y-axis when I am heading up I am labelling it with positive numbers and when I'm heading down I label with negative numbers. Now you might be thinking, but how am I still going to plot coordinates when all of the numbers kind of double up on my Cartesian plane? When we are given coordinates, we are given two numbers. The first number refers to where you travel on your x-axis. So how far left are you going to go and how far right do you need to go? The second number of your coordinates refers to where you're going to travel on your y-axis. So how far up are you going to travel or how far down do you need to travel? If we look at these coordinates as an example, we can plot the coordinates on our Cartesian plane. The first number in the brackets is 3, so that refers to where we are on our x-axis, which is over here. The second number is negative 1, and that refers to where we travel on our y-axis, which is down here. So, we pretty much want to meet these two lines up. and make a clear point of where that coordinate would land. I'm going to throw a few more examples up in this video for you to plot onto your own Cartesian plane. If you get stuck at any time, just rewind the video and check out how I plotted it on my Cartesian plane to use that as an example for you.